In previous module, we talked about free energy. Let us talk about free energy a little further. Free energy we said comes from is derived from the second law of thermodynamics, which stated that total energy of the system equals unusable energy plus, plus the usable energy H equals G plus T S. We further said that since we are interested in the usable energy, the energy that can be used to do useful work. So, we rearranged this equation which became G equals H minus T S. Since we cannot measure these terms in absolute value, however, we can measure the change in the value of these terms G, H and S. We can change this equation in the form delta G equals delta H minus T delta S. Here the delta G is basically in the case of a reaction delta G represents the change in usable energy of products minus the usable energy of the reactants. Delta H of a reaction basically represents the energy the total energy of the system of the products minus the reactants. Similarly, delta S represents the energy unusable energy of the products minus the unusable energy of the reactants. So, if we look at this equation carefully, we will come to some conclusions that if the value of delta G is negative, it basically means that the system when this reaction occurs, energy will be released from the system. If delta G is a positive number, then we have to add that much amount of energy to the system in order for the process or the chemical reaction to continue. This equation gives us some very useful information also that if in order for delta G to be a negative number, delta H has to be a small number. Delta H would be small if the energy total energy of the products is, is greater than the is less than the total energy of the reactants. So, reactants were at a much higher energy level than the products. In that case, the delta H will be a small number. As far as far the delta S is concerned, we have said this is entropy a measure of unusable energy which also is which we can understand the unusable energy by disorder going from order to disorder. So, in all reactions where the products are more disordered than the reactants, the delta S will be a positive number. So, we are going from order to chaos. All processes in which the total energy of the system goes from a higher value to lower value will result in a negative delta G those are the favorable processes. In all processes which go from order to disorder, they will also contribute to a negative delta G. This means that all systems tend to go from higher energy state to lower energy state. All systems tend to go from order to disorder. Let us look at an example of this equation. Let us say for example, we have methane, our system is made up of methane and oxygen. These two molecules are present in our system. The total energy these are all arbitrary numbers. The total energy of the system is 500. Out of this 500, 400 units is the usable energy or G free energy. 100 units is unusable energy S or entropy disorder. So, if after this reaction methane is burned, combustion occurs we have as products we have carbon dioxide and water are produced. Now, let us look at the total energy of the system. Total energy of the system has gone down 300 units from 500 it has gone down to 200. Out of this how do we come up with 200 number? G the usable energy of the system has gone down from 400 to 100. Since there is total number of molecules is the same, we started with 3 molecules and we ended up with 3 molecules, we have not produced disorder. So, total energy of the system is 200, where did the 300 go? That is the amount of energy that was released. The carbon hydrogen bonds as I have mentioned earlier are high energy bonds. So, our system is going from a higher energy state to a lower energy state. 
so when that happens energy is released since our temperature is constant this amount of energy is released and from methane and oxygen we have produced carbon dioxide and water so if when we rearrange this equation we come up with the after the rearrangement we see that usable energy of the system was 400 and the usable energy of our products is 100 so if we convert this we go back to our original equation delta g we look at the delta g delta g equals g of products free energy of the products minus the free energy of the reactants and delta g the change in delta g is minus 300 that is the amount of energy that was released from the system we get this energy from this energy was part of the total energy of the system so total energy of the system has also gone down 300 units and that energy was taken from the free energy part of the system hydrophobicity we can also explain hydrophobicity using this equation how do we do that I had uh, mentioned uh, in my one of my previous modules that I will explain what hydrophobicity is but in order to understand hydrophobicity we have to understand free energy in water molecules as I have mentioned earlier they have their polar molecules oxygen has partial negative charge hydrogen has partial positive charge so opposite charges when they come together the total energy of the system goes down the so positively charged partially positively charged hydrogen atoms are when they are, they are close to oxygen atoms they form a weak bond which is called hydrogen bond this hydrogen bond formation of hydrogen bond reduces the total energy of the system and that is why it is favorable for water water molecules to stay in close contact with each other when we add a hydrophobic substance in water the water molecules will be restricted in forming this hydrogen bond with each other we can maximize this we can have maximum number of hydrogen bonds if we restrict this hydrophobic molecule with the as small of a surface area as possible we have already seen in order to have smallest possible surface area to volume ratio you need to condense all the material all the hydrophobic material together so this hydrogen bonding of water is exerting force a pressure on the hydrophobic molecules to stay together this is basically the scientific basis of hydrophobic bond so we have seen that we can use the free energy to explain many things in fact we can explain most of the things uh, using this equation the main point I would like to reiterate that delta G free energy is uh, change in free energy is negative when energy in a process is released delta g is positive when we have to add energy into the system for a reaction to occur in living systems magnitude and sign of delta g can greatly significantly depend significantly on entropy delta s and so when we go from order to disorder those processes are more preferred